Hey, this is Rhonda, and this is going to be, I guess, maybe my last update as far as getting the ExoSim device. Um, I'm back from Washington. I was there for four days, and let me tell you, uh, emotional roller coaster doesn't even begin to describe everything that I felt. Um, after I left the, the first trip, that waiting period, between the time that you got to try the demo to the time that you actually go back, um, you have head games big time. And so I was talking myself out of it a little bit. Uh, is this really what I need to be doing? Is this really gonna work? And everything that your head does to you. Here we go. <laughs> we shall see if this has all been worth it. The minute I walked back into the clinic, all those feelings went away. When I got to see everybody again and they were so welcoming, I thought, oh, I'm doing the right thing. And the staff was just amazing. Um, I got to meet Jared, who, uh, <laughs> I'll get emotional, but Jared really changed my life. He, uh, he took me by the hand and he, um, he wouldn't let me quit. He said, you can do this. He could tell in my face when I was nervous, when I was scared, when I doubted myself. Good. He said, you can do this. And uh, Ryan, Ryan knew I can do it. <laughs> he kept saying, you got this, you got this. And um, I didn't know I can do it. And between Ryan and Jared and my husband, yep. who was there my rock go. the entire time I was there. All right, day three. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I'm a little sore. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. I ran for the first time in 20 years. I was scared to death when I was on that treadmill. I was so scared to let go because, man, if I let go, I just had all these visions of me face planting it <laughs> into the ground. But I trusted them and I let go and I did it. Uh, Ryan took me outside and I ran up a hill. I ran upstairs. <laughs> that was so cool. Um, so yeah, within the first 20 minutes of being there, I knew I was in the right place. But I also knew that I had a lot of work to do. I also knew that in order for this uh, device to be the best that it could be, I had to be the best that I can be to give it a chance. And they explained that to me. They never once um, sugar-coated it. They told me, don't fight this device, it'll win. And so I didn't, and I, and I listened, and I learned, and I got so sore, because that just, and, and that was a good thing that I got sore, because I, I saw the muscles that I had not been using for so long, and I saw that the hard work that I was doing was making the brace, the device, help me. They had me climbing, they had me running, they had me um, jumping. Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine jumping and I did it. But I just cannot say enough good things about this. Now, are there con some, some concerns? Yes. Um, and I know this is petty, but it's okay to feel petty sometimes because it's, it's the way I feel. And buying shoes was very emotional for me. I. I like shoes and having to go up a size and a wide size and one size didn't fit the other foot, but all of that is addressed. Ryan and Jared address that and, um, and I know that there's going to be other options out there. I'm going to have a pair of boots made for me. So I know there's options out there, but sometimes these little tiny minute things we build it up in our head to think that it's this big mountain when the mountain is the fact that I'm walking. And so that, I had to reel myself back in a few times and say, that's so minor compared to this gift that I've just been given. So um, if you are going through this journey, if anybody's watching this and going through this journey, and this is why I'm doing this, because I want, if I can help one person decide to do this if they're on the fence. Um, 
I want them to understand all the emotions that you're going to feel. It, um, there, are, there are times when you get overwhelmed with the fact that I'm going to have to wear this for the rest of my life. Yes, if you want to walk like you did prior to your injury, but I was looking at amputation and that is a forever thing. And uh, I was reminded about that several times, but um, this, is, this is just a gift. And I just want people to understand that um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. And I'm so, so, so thankful for everybody at the Hanger Clinic. And um, not only did they give me a new look on life, I think I have some real true friends there. So um, anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know that I am walking uh, and there is no limp. I'm in no pain except for the rest of my body that's sore. And um, I will continue to give some updates as I get stronger and stronger. And I will be on a horse by the end of the year. Promise. <laughs>